What's going on everybody? Lambo here. I just want to say thank you very much for all the love you showed on the last long tutorial video. Crazy views, crazy love, lots of likes. Thank you very much. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button right now. I'm starting to rein in some people. It's kind of getting me excited. More videos coming, so please hit that subscribe button and I'll keep pumping these things out. Today we're going to be playing, obviously, in Farming Simulator 22, modding, but we're going to be working on sounds. And my last long video, I covered everything I possibly could at the time, but sounds. And I've had a lot of requests for it, so we're going to dive right into sounds. Before we do that, slap the like button. Welcome to the show, everybody. First and foremost, let's get knowledgeable about where stuff is a lot of common questions how do i find this where do i find that you're going to find the answers to 90 percent of your modding answers inside your own computer so mine might be different from yours i purchased mine from steam but eventually i think no matter what system you buy it for you're going to get down to this folder farming simulator 22 it's going to have all this mumbo jumbo in here you're going to spend the most time in this folder right here called data okay so from this moment we're gonna play with sounds you notice right here it says sounds this game uses a lot of in-game sounds so vehicles trucks all easily referenced to so if you don't want to play with a audio editor and make your own sounds you could just use in-game sounds so in order to look at that we're just gonna double click on sounds open this up and you will see here it says sound templates this is gonna open up a world of template call actions that you can use, and we will cover that once we actually look at a setup. Now I'm gonna click on vehicles here, and from here, I'm gonna have a list of stuff, brakes, cabin, compressor, this is all stuff that you can use. Uh, so we're gonna go to engine. There's a whole bunch here, the cement truck, all that kind of whatnot. Next, we're gonna peek at transmission. All these different transmissions you can use. Tons and tons. If you're super confused about things, we can take a peek at the sound templates. Here is the sound templates. And basically, when you see it inside of the, the XML editor and you see template name, engine small vintage, that's what sort of it is referring to. So, as in here, it's looking up motor, template, car, idle. If we hit a control search really fast and we search this template for it, we would find engine car sounds. It's in here. So when the game references to this template, it's going to do all of these actions that it has right here. Inner radius, it's outer radius. And you could probably take into it your own template and mess with things and whatnot. But you can also just create your own sound file which is a lot easier and I also on uh, our patreon we will have a free XML download uh, that you can look at it'll basically be this one with generic car sounds already in it I've already copy and pasted the wave and the OOG files so farming simulator uses OOG it's gonna say wave a lot but when you actually look at the file in there it'll say OOG and to play around with OOG, you're gonna need a software called Audacity. Audacity is free. It, um, it's kind of like Blender, open source, easy to use. You hit new, you import in your sound. Literally, you can just clag, click and drag. That was horrible. Clag, clag, click and drag. So let's say I have a sound here and I'm going to drag it in here. And now I can edit that sound. Uh, you do not want to save over the in-game sounds, that'll completely mess up your game, but if you want to play with them, you can do that here. When you get ready to export, you will go to export, export as OGG. Now if you're inserting this into a placeable as like an area sound or whatnot, to actually put it in GE, it has to be in a WAV file, but you also save an OG, OGG file in there. You import the WAV in the GE, and then you go in there and you delete the wave file inside of the folder but that way so when the GE goes to reference it it's gonna go looking for the same file but if it sees OOG instead it's gonna use that file it was super confusing I probably shouldn't cover that right now I'm sorry but food for thought if we dig deep enough so I went data vehicles lizard pickup 
you dig deep enough, there's going to be a sound file in each one of these vehicles that are inside our game. And we'll click on that. And inside of, uh, of these folders, you're going to have a generic. It's going to have a bunch of links to motor sound, all the template links, stuff like that, where it can find the file to. It's a... Uh, going to be digging for that but that'll give you a good idea of a generic copy so you can literally just copy this and save it into your mods folder so it references it and if you can see what I did here so this is my copy the generic sounds one and all I did was I moved the sounds of this lizard pickup uh, from FS 19 into my sounds folder so it's no longer actually on the game system if I'm referencing to it in the mod this is how you do it if I'm referencing it to the game version what's available in game you would use this data s and see this is actually gonna mess up this is crazy so this is probably gonna run an error or it's already in there I'm, I'm noticing a lot of these coding errors that Giants didn't do but this should have an s in front of it I bet you anything if you look at the log when you buy this truck it runs an error on that because I I didn't mess with that <laughs> crazy anyways moving on to the next topic in my previous video I told you to remove the sounds from the lights the attacher joints the drivable water splash all that kind of stuff if you didn't watch that video please go watch that one and you can kind of get a generic what what has changed but also I released that video before GE 9 was out so there's some things outdated already crazy huh but if I want to refer to a template here it is now all those template names are the ones that I was referring to back here. So we would actually find water splash somewhere inside of the game file there. If I wanted to use my own sound, which I have in here already, I can link to where it is in the folder using that. All I would need to do is change template and file. So file, I would change the template. And then if I wanted to reference back to a whole bunch of different honk sounds, there is a ton in game uh, already. I just copy and pasted these. Default engine sounds, same thing. Uh, and that that's all just cherry picked from this main sounds template that Giants has inside their game. But at the beginning of each mod in the XML, you're going to end up needing to move your sounds tag from where it used to be in the engine, uh, in the motorized tag, I believe. You're going to need to move it up in between the base tag now. And you can call, you don't have to make custom sounds for every vehicle and use your own XML. You can actually call vehicles that are already in game, such as this. And the easiest way to do that, to find out what this path is, is to just go find the vehicle that you're looking for whether uh, it's a truck car tractor whatever it is so say the challenger challenger is going to have this in here and then when i go to open it up boop -doo -doo. oh maybe not this one <laughs> too much fun okay that was the wrong one i wasn't supposed to click on i've never opened up the challenger before so i got a little surprise right there uh <laughs> we're looking for something that has a sounds file so you can never go wrong with Vultra. We'll go with the Series 8. See, this already has a sounds file in it, right? So I bet you anything, it's calling to it right here under the base tag, in between the two, sounds file. So you could copy and paste this into your mod or whatever it is if you wanted to sound like a tractor or whatnot, and it would sound like the in-game Series 870. and. Obviously, because these are built by giants, these are probably going to be the best sounds to use. A good example, if you have access to download this, you can see a work, working version already. It's the Colorado. And uh, we will just look at its code really fast. This is for the FS22 version. The sounds, see, I just put sounds Camaro. I didn't rename the XML file. I very easily could have. It's not all Camaro sounds. Uh, but it's going to be looking in the sounds folder 
uh, forward slash Camaro sounds dot XML we will take a look what that looks like so this is my mod before I zipped it up and I have a sounds folder and it is looking for Camaro sounds and it's an XML file when it opens that up it's gonna start reading from top to bottom here motor start so it's gonna use the template car motor start the functions it's going to use the sound that I have in there car start I can change the volume here same thing as we go down the line here when it stops it makes a stopping noise when it idles it makes that noise being able to change sounds and I believe uh, on the transmission you can adjust the pitch I believe you can adjust the pitch with all of these you just need to copy and paste this feature into here within the tags uh, gear start this is starting in all the noises it makes when it changes gears and transmissional stuff uh, lights the sounds when it clicks on and off and you can actually go into the sound template in game and change this if you wanted a different sound switch uh, same thing with attach you can make it sound like a transformer if you really wanted to just swapping out the file with that and I do believe this is going to be it for the video guys if you enjoyed this if this helped uh, it might have seemed basic for some people but I get getting a lot of questions about it this is how you do car sounds after you have this make sure you hit save as when you are saving it make sure you put dot xml that way it doesn't save it as a text file it actually saves it as an xml file so you save it i'm not going to resave it again and then uh, inside of your mod you're going to ask it to call back on it be like hey so here it's calling back into the file that's it for sounds guys that's it I swear I kept it short I kept it as short as I could some of you like long but man I I fall asleep to some long videos thank you so much for watching hit the like hit the subscribe if you want more comment down below if it's a good video I'll get on it if it's not eh. uh, that's all I got later boys